What are your top three twerking tips? <laughs> She's taking notes. So yeah, it's, it's for my what my friend who. You? Would you actually? Welcome to another episode of Outside the Ring. I'm your host, Lexi Nair, and today I have one of my favorite people, the Concrete Rose, Sunny Kiss. How are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm great. I am so glad you're here. It's so good to see you all. I know, it's been a minute, so do you just wanna jump right into it? Jump right in, what do you guys think, yeah? Yeah. What is your most used emoji? I would probably say the double hearts, the double pink hearts. Yes, the double, very specific, the double pink heart. What is your go-to midnight snack? Uh, probably popsicles. (laughs) Any like specific flavor of popsicle? The Sour Patch ones, I think that they're called, or something like that. Sound good. (laughs) They're pretty good. And pickles too, I like pickles. What an odd combo. What is one item everyone should have in their closet? Shoes, lots of shoes. <laughs> if y'all need shoes, hit up Sunny Kiss, okay? Cause he's got you covered. Where do you go when you need to be alone? My own home. <laughs> That's a good one. Yes. What are your top three twerking tips? Oh my God. I'm asking for a friend. Do it. Because really, okay, so I'll be honest. The real techniques are just being loose. Wait, time out. Okay. So, there you go. Okay, so being loose. <laughs> She's taking notes. So yeah, it's for my so, my friend who. You? Would you actually? So you kind of slouch down, okay. and you can kind of like pop it and kind of let it go by itself. This is happening or right you now. Can literally, just let your booty. I'm in the jeans right now, so. But you can just kind of let your booty be loose, and let your body just be loose. You know what? I will let my friend you know, first. <laughs> I'll let my friend know who keeps asking. What is one thing you wish you knew in high school? Um, how cool it looks to have a really good college on your resume. I didn't go to college, so that's okay. No college gang. I don't know what I'll be doing if I don't do this. I don't think college is necessary for everyone though. I really don't think college is necessary for everyone. And I think that you can be very successful without college. You just have to be a go-getter. Who is your celebrity crush? Oh, that's a whole can of, whoa. Okay, so there's a, quite a couple. I have a very weird like taste. I like a lot of different kind of guys. Tay Diggs, uh, the rapper of the game. I love Wentworth Miller. I love Brantley Gilbert. Marky Mark. <laughs> Young Marky Mark? Or... Yes, rapping Marky Mark. <laughs> Mark Wahlberg is like gorgeous. Oh my God, there's a lot. Matt Damon. I have a lot of crushes. Vin Diesel, <laughs> Tyrese, there's so many. What is your biggest pet peeve? Bad hygiene. Pessimism, and this is a good one. So people who play their music at a low volume in their cars. So it's either for me, I know this sounds so weird. So, okay. Usually it's the opposite, you know, like people blasting their music, yeah, they're like, okay. Be loud. Either loud or turn it off. Like if we're gonna have a discussion, yeah. like turn the music down and like completely off. Yeah. Or like, yeah, turn it up and we just kind of jam out. Like, so I, I can't yeah. have, I can't have that middle ground of like, I can kind of hear the song because it's like, uh, you're gonna jam out, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, and it's just like, and we're being silent and you're just kind of listening. Radio go. What is your favorite childhood cereal? I liked Tricks. Yes, that is like. I liked, yes. I liked Lucky Charms. I liked Reese's Puffs. And honestly, I think probably my favorite favorite was Peanut Butter Crunch. What is your biggest fear? It's interesting because sometimes I think that our fears, like we have certain kind of fears that kind of come up and they go away. Like the fear of success, which kind of comes and goes. The fears that I have, like usually is like losing someone that I love, like a lot. And I think that's, yeah. Like I don't, like it's something that I don't think about often, but when I do think about it, it makes me feel away. Are you an early riser or a night owl? I'm definitely a night owl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I stay up very late. Yeah, I feel like that's most people on the roster too. Like I feel like everybody like always, stay, yeah, always stays up pretty late. What is your coffee order? Something that's super sweet. Like it doesn't matter which, it can be pumpkin spice, it can be ginger, uh, gingerbread, it can be a, a, a peppermint. 
long as it's super sweet with like a bunch of pumps of like sugar. <laughs> so you can't really taste the coffee? Yeah. Oh, and also with a dairy-free milk substitute. Yeah. I definitely have to have that. What makes you roll your eyes every time you hear it? Um, people who talk about things that they don't really know anything about. Mm, that's a good one. If you could trade places with someone for one day, who would it be? Janet freaking Jackson. <laughs> I am the biggest Janet fan in the world. I love her. Are you a planner or a procrastinator? I am definitely a procrastinator, but I feel like I get everything done that I want. <laughs> I, I feel like I've procrastinated for many, many years, and I've always seemed to pull something out of a hat. I always make it happen. What is your favorite movie? Uh, I have a couple. Bring it on. Bring, bring it on is my favorite movie of all time. Classic. <laughs> bring it on. John Tucker Must Die. Yes. Awesome. Big Fat Liar. Yes. The hot chick. Cle yes. Clearly, I'm obsessed with chick flicks and teen movies, you guys. So it's obvious. From like the early 2000s. Yeah. As well. I am a nostalgia junkie. I love anything from like as far as music and all yeah. that stuff too, like Limp Biscuit, and yeah. I listen to a bunch of Nickelback and Britney, you know, all that old school, like the the, the classic pop, uh, R and B, hip hop, new metal, grunge yeah. stuff. I, I listen to all that stuff. What is one song you know by heart? A lot of songs <laughs> sounds good like literally anything like i listen to a lot of stuff like i'm one of those people who is like super multifaceted yeah and i listen to a lot of different things so i don't know <laughs> i listen to a lot of stuff i don't know no it's fine a, we lot, just, a lot of different songs we like putting people on the spot here yeah, that's yeah, just what we literally. do pancakes or waffles definitely waffles i think pancakes are good but i think that that when they get a little soggy, it's like, ugh. Beach or mountains? Probably mountains, yeah. overall. But I do love the beach. What is the biggest surprise you've ever received? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, an ex-boyfriend actually got me, like, well, he wrote me a letter. Okay. And it, to this day, it, like, still makes me, like, wow. Like, this is, Aww. because the thing is, materialistic things aren't, ever, have never yeah. been my thing. I've right. been very simple. I get my clothes from Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova is very affordable. I don't, like, wear super, Fashion Nova. exactly. <laughs> I don't wear super designer clothing. Yeah. So, I'm not a materialistic person. Right. So, him writing me that letter, it was just super duper sweet. Something you didn't expect. I didn't. I, yeah. think, I think I still have it in my wallet. If your life was one hashtag, what would it be? Hashtag perseverance. What is your favorite food? I like anything, um, like almost anything Indian. I like Indian, like I love, I used to love like um, paneer tikka. It's one of my favorites. What is your favorite dessert? <laughs> I like a lot of sweet stuff. <laughs> I like a lot of sweet, super sweet stuff. Probably, like, okay, so the guys don't. <laughs> Don't judge me. But I used to eat like that, um, what's it called? Like the chocolate lava cake from like, was it Domino's? Like all the time. Oh yes, and I, I know exactly oh what you're God, talking it's about. Oh my God, so gushy and sugary. This is the last question of our interview. Do you have any hidden talents? I do have a hidden talent and the wrestling world is going to see that. I can't talk about it right now. Oh. I may be, you know, using my voice for some things. And uh, yeah, we shall see. Sunny, thank you for coming. I am yeah. so happy we were able to chat. I loved it. Thank you. So much. <laughs>